everyone! Today I'm going to do a video about new beauty launches. I'm very lucky to get sent lots of new stuff all the time and often before they are coming out in store. So I wanted to do a video where I kind of review a lot of new products that I've been trying. I have a terrible memory though, so instead of going, um, how much is this? When's it out? I don't know. I'm going to leave a link to everything down below. I'm going to put what the product is, how much it is, when it's coming out, where you can find it. Now I've committed to that, I actually have to do it, but I promise I will try my best to put everything in the description box, so go and check that out. I've got a lot of products to talk through, so I'm just gonna get started. And the first thing is from Charlotte Tilbury. Now when I heard that Charlotte Tilbury had kind of ventured into skincare, I was a bit, mm, I don't really like it when makeup brands try and do skincare as well. So I'm never really sure of the ingredients and just from past experience, I never really love skincare when it's from a makeup brand. But the Charlotte Tilbury makeup looks are always very aimed towards kind of dry skin, making dry skin very dewy and glowy. So I wanted to give it a go because this is her new Goddess Skin Clay Mask. I mean, the marketing and advertising around this was great. The video was very appealing. So I definitely wanted to try it out. It comes in this really nice kind of like matte bottle that stands up nicely on your little skincare shelf. Now this is definitely a morning mask. I never normally use masks in the morning. I'm all about doing a face mask at night before I go to bed. I'm not a morning person, so I don't really have time. I hardly really do a proper skincare routine. I hardly ever really eat breakfast, although if you saw my granola video, that's all changed now. So this is definitely a morning mask because it kind of leaves this hydrating feeling on your skin. It's not tacky, but it definitely leaves something on your skin. You know how some masks, like my Aesop one, take off and you just feel like you've got really clean skin and it's fresh. This definitely leaves some kind of residue on the skin, but it's nice and it's glowy and it works really well under makeup. It says on here, baby skin, and I, I get what they mean by that. It really does make you feel like you have baby skin. It will definitely be too heavy for you if you have oily skin. I, and even if you have normal skin, I feel like this is only good if you have dry or dehydrated skin. But it's interesting. I like that it's a morning mask, a bit different. So yeah, that's what I think of the Charlotte Tilbury clay mask. Tom Ford have also released another one of their illuminating primers. I absolutely love the original one, which I can't find the name for this. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a white illuminating primer. And I like to mix this with my foundation or tinted moisturizer and put it all over the skin. And it just adds this incredible glow. It's like instant glow. I love it. I've used it in a tutorial before. And they've now added this one, which is complexion enhancing primer. Oh, this one's illuminating primer. And this one's complexion enhancing primer. This one's more of a pinky tone, so I would not apply this all over my skin because I like to stay away from pinky orange skin. But for me, I like to just use it on the tops of my cheekbones. It's very, very pink though. So I don't love it as much as the original at all, but I do still like it and it's nice for the tops of your cheekbones in the warmer months. Very pink though, so just a heads up. The next product I feel like I've spoken about so much on Twitter, on my vlogs. I've got it in a video coming up for my monthly makeup routine, which by the way is this look. So if you wanna see how I did this look, that will be in my next monthly makeup routine. Routine. This is from YSL and it's the Les Saharien. <laughs> Les Saharien, I don't know how to say it. The Sunkissed Blur Perfector Healthy Glow Balm Powder. Now they released a Balm Perfector Primer thing recently, which I really didn't like. I just didn't get it. It wasn't nice as a primer, it wasn't nice as to put on top of makeup like they said. I didn't like it, but then they released this and I'm obsessed. I feel like this will be like one of my favorite all-time products, that's how much I love it. Basically a cream bronzer, it looks like this. It's like this amazing formula. It's smooth and silky and it kind of just blends into your skin and gives you such a healthy sun-kissed look. I like to apply it to the tops of my cheekbones and to my hairline and it's amazing on holiday. It's amazing when you're not on holiday. I just, I feel like I'm gonna go through this whole thing. I'm using it every single day and I love it. My mum also bought one because she likes it so much. I'll show you how it comes in the packaging. It comes in this like gold box, because I have two, this is a different shade. The shade I use, by the way, is number two. That's the one that I use, but they all seem quite similar. This one's number four and it looks pretty similar to me. So it comes in this little black pouch um, that's the product. And then with it is this funny brush. So this is what they recommend you use. It's like a sponge on one end that's like quite flimsy and then a brush, which actually this is a really nice soft brush on the other. Personally, I like using the Real Techniques contour brush, just it's like, like I would with a cream blusher, um, but I guess you can try this. I feel like this white thing will get really grubby, but I absolutely love that cream bronzer. It's 
amazing. I really, really like it. Do you think I like that bronzer a little bit? Okay, the next product is from Soap and Glory, and I saw this in Boots the other day, so I wanted to pick it up and give it a go. It's the, se <laughs> let's not get this wrong, Sexy Mother Pucker in Pillow Plump Lip Gloss. Looks like this, comes in this box packaging. Um, pretty big, actually. I got the shade Pink Well, which looked like the most kind of everyday pink. It looks like this. Yeah, it is a pretty long lip gloss, actually. And it says extra, extra large. So the idea is that it's limp lip plumping. I can't talk today. What's in it that makes your lip plump? It says with glassy shine technology, 3XL peptide plump and lip swell. Ooh. Natural flower oil infusion. So it's one of those lip glosses that makes your lips go all tingly and is meant to make your lips look more plump. I already have quite decent sized lips. <laughs> Is that a weird thing to say? But they're not particularly thin, so I'm probably not the best person to test this. But in terms of wearability, I didn't like this. I don't, I've just, I've never been into those kind of tingly, bee sting lip things. They kind of hurt. It's very tingly, really intense. I first put it on and thought, oh, this is quite nice. It smells a bit like um, chocolate. Oh, it smells exactly like hot chocolate. But then I applied it and the tingling kicked in and it was really intense and I was kind of like, and my mum said, your lips have definitely got bigger. I was like, great, but it kind of hurts. So if you have really thin lips and you're desperate and you don't care if it hurts or whatever, then this is probably great. But I didn't really like the feeling and I just don't know if it's worth it. I feel like if you use a lip pencil and a lip gloss and a bit of highlighter, you can make your lips look a bit more plump in ways that don't hurt as much. Now I have a couple of products that have new shades, new packaging that I want to talk through. This one in particular, I can't really review because it doesn't work for my skin tone, but I really wanted to tell you guys because I know that lots of different people watch my videos. So the original Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow which my packaging is broken and it doesn't really close. This is like one of my favorite products. It's contour and highlight, a beautiful like golden champagne highlighter and a really nice light brown contour that's not too gray, it's not too bronze. Love this, love it so much. She's brought out another shade, which I think is so great. I think Charlotte Tilbury is really kind of, she really knows how to cater to all different skin types. She has all her different looks and the different lipsticks. And anyway, she's now released this one, which oh, I don't know if it has a different name or anything, but it looks like this. So the bronze, the contour shade is a lot darker. And the highlight, which is really interesting, is kind of like a peachy golden highlight. I think this will work for much darker skin tones. It's far too dark for me. But let me know if you guys have tried this, if you have darker skin and what you think of it. Because as I said, I can't give a review. I just wanted to let you know that this is out and I think it's really great. Next up is a product that everyone is talking about. It's the Saint-Tropez Gradual Tan in Shower. I've had so many people tweet me asking what I think of this and I did a review on my blog. So I will link that down below if you wanna have a read. But I can also tell you in this video what I think of it. The idea of this is a gradual tanner that you put on in the shower. So the idea is great because no one really likes applying fake tan, it's such a hassle. So if it's something you can do in the shower, then great. So the idea with this is that you have your shower and then you turn the shower off, you apply this all over your skin and you wait for three minutes. Now there's quite a few problems with that. First of all, you have to rinse your hands after you've applied it. So for me, if you have a big shower where you can like stand to the side, then that's great. But for me, if I turn on the shower, I get wet. So I had to kind of creep out the shower and rinse my hands in the sink, which was all a bit cold. The second problem is that how do you know when three minutes is up? I got sent this and it came with an egg timer, but I was thinking like, you can't buy that in store. So I didn't use it. I left it in my bedroom. And I don't have a clock in my shower. Until Anna mentioned that she had a clock in her shower, I didn't even know that was like a thing. Like she has a digital clock on the wall. Didn't know you can get those. I don't have any kind of time in the shower. So the only way I could think of knowing when three minutes was up is by singing a song because most pop songs are around three minutes long. So I stood in my shower and sung Ed Sheeran um, thinking out loud at the top of my voice because that, I know all the words to that song. And by the time it was over, I was like, okay, that must be about three minutes. But I mean, that's a bit ridiculous. I think it should come with the egg timer. That would be good. It's also a very slippy formula. So I wasn't sure that I was getting all of my skin. It was all a bit like slippy. It even says in the packaging, like, be careful, don't slip in the shower because that's how slippery it is. And I had to stand there for three minutes cold singing like a weirdo. So I don't know, it doesn't really work for me. But in terms of the actual product and how it works, I feel like this is quite good if you're topping up a tan. When I got back from France, I've been using this and it's kind of just maintained my tan, which is nice. But using this from nothing, if I was at my normal pale shade, I feel like this wouldn't 
work. It's very, very, very subtle, which is fine. If you have very pale skin and you're scared of fake tan, then try this because it's a good way to like get into fake tan. It's very subtle and natural. But if you were hoping to get a good tan out of this, I feel like you might be a bit disappointed because it's that little bit too subtle. I much prefer the express tan. Also, I had to use so much product, so I feel like you will go through this quite quickly. Anyway, so many thoughts there, but that is what I think of the Saint Tropez in shower tan. Next up, very quickly, is the Soap and Glory Solar Powder. They have finally changed the packaging. I love when brands listen to their customers. The old packaging was cardboard and very flimsy. Mine actually didn't break. A lot of people said that theirs broke. Mine's still going strong, so I will continue to use this, but they've made it into their plastic packaging just like their other blushes and highlighters. Um, so, so much better with a mirror. Definitely less likely to break. Only three more things to go. Bourgeois have released some blushes and they're called Aqua Blush 12 Hour Hold. So these are like liquid blushes. They are very similar to the Giorgio Armani blushing fabrics, which were released, I think like two years ago now. It's like a cream blusher a slightly liquidy cream blusher that's quite thick in texture, a bit gel-like. And I really like these for summer. These are particularly good if you're gonna be sitting by the pool or on the beach. I like to just put it on the back of my hand and pat it on or use a contour brush just to apply it to the cheekbones. And I find them to be really good and waterproof. And I think these are a really good, affordable option. But the blusher that I am absolutely obsessed with is from Stila. I got this from Cult Beauty when I last made an order. And this is their Aqua Glow Watercolor Blush. And I wasn't sure which shade to get, but I went for Shimmering Lotus because it's a pink with gold shimmer. Yes, it is as amazing as it sounds. It's a proper, proper liquid though. It's not like the other blushes, which are like a gel. This is a liquid. So I only ever use products from the lid. I don't think I'll ever make my way through this because I don't even touch that. I just take a tiny, tiny wincy bit from the lid. You hardly need anything. And I just pat it on my cheeks. And I like to take this as well quite up high onto the cheekbones because it has that gold shimmer in it. It's like a really nice highlighter as well. And oh my God, it's gorgeous. I just want everyone to buy this. You know, when you find a product and you're like, buy it, it's so good. I also want to try some of the other shades. I might buy some when I'm in LA. This is so nice though. It's got that, oh, it's this amazing gold shimmer in it. So, so pretty. Okay, and then finally, an eyeshadow palette from Laura Mercier. Last year, or maybe the year before, um, I got her artist palette, which looked like this. And I love her artist palettes. Oh, there's a hair in there. Because they have so many great shades in there and the quality of our eyeshadows are really, really nice. So I really enjoyed using this one, but there were a couple of shades I didn't use, like the purple glitter, there's a black and a navy, and there's one called diamond pink, which is a bit too light for me. So she's just released, or maybe it's coming out, I can't remember, the new artist palette, which looks like this, comes in this packaging, let me take it out for you. And it has this kind of lace detail cover and flips up like her other palettes. And this one is amazing. I do think this one is better for me because it has more shades that I will use I think I'll use every single shade. There's one called Vanilla Nuts, which is um, like a nice bone color for all over your lid, and Sparkling Dew, which is like a highlighter shade. And then the rest are all very kind of pale pink, MAC All That Glitters. There's one called African Violet, which is like a purple with gold shimmer that is beautiful. Fresco is a great crease shade. Bamboo, which is probably my favorite shade from the palette, is a bit like MAC Patina, like a cool tone gold that's beautiful. Plum Smoke, a lovely lilac for the crease, a matte shade. And there's, there's, there's some more nice purples and browns and Espresso Bean is the darkest color, which is like a gray. So there's no like black, cause I would never use a black eyeshadow. There's no like weird blues or anything like that. For brown eyed girls, I think this is a beautiful palette and I will definitely get use out of all these shades. So those are all the products that I've been trialing and I really hope my mini reviews have helped you guys. Don't forget to check the description box for prices, where you can get them and when they're coming out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.